Hey friends, I just wanted to do a quick review of the things I brought back from Jefferson City today after uh, uh, vis visiting uh, Tennessee Aqua. Those numbers on the back have nothing to do with what's in the bag. These are a couple of the uh, Geophagus Hickley, I believe, and uh, Tennessee aquas uh, going down to some uh, nano type fish, shrimp, that kind of thing. So this is his pair of geos. I was going to put those in my 180 in the other room, but since I took the Paku out of here, I've got some room in here, so I think I'll let those geos stay in here. Same thing, uh, this feather fin, Cynodonus, uh got it at uh, the coral reef today after we did our fish swapping and stuff uh, Bobby Tennessee Aqua uh, and I went to uh, his local fish store which is primarily saltwater but they had plenty of fresh there too um, and I got this uh, seven bucks their prices are awesome got cats screaming behind me wanting attention so they're keeping me moving that's for sure and uh, This, or these, are actually Rubenzas, and I think this may be the male, I'm not sure, but the female had uh, some wigglers, which uh, he didn't know, these are also from Tennessee Aqua. So she was in her uh, cave, and when he poured her out in a net, her wigglers came tumbling out, and so they were very easy to back up with her, and she began to uh, put them in her mouth, and so I was afraid that must have been her in the, I don't know, these bags were hard to see through. At any rate, she had not. When I got home, uh, we, we put the mail in a different bag. When I got home, she had released them all from her mouth. And she might have scooped them all up just then uh, when I came in. Because she is quick about it. Very quick. Oh, they're in there. I can see them now. See them there all skittering around. So I'm going to release this big family. Not into this tank because I've got some pretty big uh, barbs in here, uh, or tetras, not barbs, and also some, um, yeah, silver dollars, but I am going to go ahead and finally, after all the talk about it for weeks, move these guys into the 40 breeder that I've got ready for them. I've already caught the corridors out of there, the uh, neon. Uh, gold stripe, so um, they'll be going in there shortly so the Kerbenzis family can go in here. And I've got a couple of caves and things already, pots and stuff that are already in here, so I'm primarily just moving the fish out, the divider, and their java. So we'll go with them, their java moss, which they seem to enjoy. And then these guys will go right in there. So lots of unbagging and unboxing and stuff to do. Uh, this is also some cuttings that uh, Tennessee Aqua gave me. Uh, they're obviously the Pogus, Damon, Octopus. So I'm not sure where I'm going to put those. He also had some uh, things that he couldn't use that uh, were gifted to him uh, with a setup, a real nice uh, reptile setup. And... Uh, so I can always use stuff like that. So this is just some artificial stuff that will hang down the back of the terrarium. And I first thought I'd use it for the snake, Sandy, but this will be perfect to add some more backdrop in uh, Nelson, the uh, Indonesian blue tongue skink. And I think we're getting close to the end of it here. I picked up a couple of damsels. Uh, I've got one of the neon blues because I have a couple of those already in here got lots of promise there's a neon blue and there's one I think I just have two in here so that will be a third guy from them for them 
and uh, yeah, I collect damsels like, like I do quarries and all that. Uh, the yellowtail, the blue yellowtail there, I just have the one of those. So I got it a bud there, and they've already made their acquaintance there. Uh, what else? Two more things. I got some uh, coral, some of the uh, pulsating or pulsing Xenia, and they even fragged it for me, so it looks like not a lot of nothing there. Uh, but I'm going to try it in here. Last time I had it in the tank behind here, it didn't make it. And this guy I was delighted to find. It's a conch snail, and we're used to finding large birds under these shells on the beaches. Um, conch shells, and you put them to your ear to hear the ocean and, you know, that myth. But they had several kinds of them, and their shells were all different. And uh, I thought this guy was cool. He's a peeper, so him peeping his eyes out there. So I think that he'll be fine with the small hermit crabs. Uh, he was in with some urchins, a bunch of urchins and a bunch of other conch shells. But I could definitely use his help with the algae in here. So this is where he's going to start out and I'll keep a close eye on him. Um, I was looking for something and I totally forgot what it was. Oh, I do still have the uh, spawn of the tomato clowns over there. And they should be hatching out any minute, any day. And I think that's everything. Take a look around here just to be sure. Yeah, that's everything. There's Miss Holly. Her glamour shot. You sweet old girl. So yeah, quite an adventurous day. Lots of fun. Really enjoyed finally getting to meet Tennessee Aqua. And uh, looking forward to going back up that way. And uh, doing another trip to the store. So thanks, Bobby, for your uh, fish and uh, the plants and the supplies. Oh, there was some uh, potting, not potting soil, but creature soil, and it's really good stuff. I can always use that, especially with a snake, a bag that size. So, yep, that's everything, guys. So let me get these... Uh, Peppers moved so I can get the uh, cribs and their babies in the tank and get everybody else out. Thanks for watching.